actually parang naging birthday gift ko po yung ano pagkapasa ko sa USDA, SDH, or DP. Kasi on my birthday po ako mismo in the interview at saka sinabihan na pasak na po ako for this scholarship program. Hello everyone! It's me again, your Ate Cherry, or you can call me your Ate Cher. So, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay possibility na pwede kang makatanggap ng 540,000 pesos na scholarship grant from the OSD. If you are planning to become a graduate student here in the Philippines, Pwede kang makatanggap sa kabuuan ng 514,000 pesos all throughout your graduate study kapag ma-qualify ka sa scholarship na ito. At dahil na-share ko na sa inyo yung scholarship ko noong college pa ako, I am happy to share naman this time yung scholarship na kinuha ko for my graduate studies. Grabe, sobrang nakatulong talaga nito. Before ako maging scholar, yung pinagkuhanan ko ng aking tuition fee ay yung sweldo ko as research assistant. Pero nung nakapasok na ako sa scholarship, sinagot na ng DOSD hindi lang ang tuition fee ko, kundi pati na rin ang sweldo ko. So bali, yung parang role ko po noon ay pinabayaran po ako para mag-aral. So, heto po ang outline ng discussion po natin ngayon. What is the OSD ASD HRDP? When is the application period? What is the process? Qualifications? Requirements? Scholarship privileges? At saka yung compensation. Ano nga ba ang meaning ng ASD HRDP? Ang ASD HRDP or Accelerated Science and Technology Human Resource Development Program ay isang scholarship na binibigay para sa mga gusto mag-master's or doctoral degree sa mga priority science and technology area. Layunin itong ma-improve ang competitiveness ng ating bansa in terms of science and technology innovation at mag-accelerate ang pag-produce ng mga high-level na human resources na kailangan for research and development. Pwede ito sa MS or PhD program. Ang mga priority S&T programs are Agriculture, Forestry and Natural Resources, Biological Sciences, Biotechnology, Chemical Sciences, Earth, Atmospheric and Space Sciences, Environmental Sciences, Fisheries and Marine Science, Health and Pharmaceutical Sciences, Information and Communication Technology, Material Science and Nanotechnology, Pure and Applied Mathematics, Pure and Applied Physics, and Statistics. In my case, I belong in the environmental sciences one. Part 2. When is the application period and what is the process? nag open ang application period depende sa host school or university na nag offer mga fields na minention ko kanina. Here are the schools that offer these scholarships. Ateneo de Manila University, Central Luzon State University, De La Salle University, Mindanao State University, University of the Philippines Diliman, University of the Philippines Los Baños, University of the Philippines Manila, and University of the Philippines Visayas, University of San Carlos, and lastly, Saya State University. So in my case po, nabilong po ako sa University of the Philippines Visayas. Every start of the academic year, nag-open ng slots ang host university for the upcoming students to become scholars. Kibale, parang sinasabay sa admission period, pag-open din ng slots for the scholarship. In our university, we have 15 slots na ina-open every academic year. Ano yung mga qualifications? Unang-una, dapat Filipino citizen ka. Dapat din hindi ka pa 50 years old nung nag-apply ka nito. At dapat you are in good health condition. You should pass the admission requirements ng host university mo. At maipasa mo yung interview at screening process. Sa mga nagtatanong kung yung DOST ba mismo yung mag interview sa sa'yo, ang sagot po ay hindi. Yung mga professors na po ng host university ang nag interview sa sa'yo at saka sila na din po yung nag-decide kung pasok ka ba sa scholarship o hindi. So, para sa akin, mas madali po siya kasi lalo na kung kilala mo na yung mga professors na nandoon sa host university, um, nabibigyan ka po ng leverage to pass the um, screening process and become a scholar. What are the requirements? Here are the following. Accomplished information sheet na ma-download sa kanilang website, birth certificate, 
certified true copy ng TOR, endorsement letters from two college professors, recommendation ng head of agency kung employed, career plans, research plans, med certificate, NBI clearance, and notice of admission. Dapat po, regular student ka. Medyo marami-rami din yung mga requirements, pero worth it naman po kung nakapasok na po tayo sa um, scholarship program. In my case, I'm a lateral applicant, so meron pa pong additional na requirement, which is ang prospectus ko na dapat naka-indicate doon kung um, ano na po yung nakuha kong mga units at saka ano pa po yung kukuhain kong units at saka dapat uh, regular po ako na gra-graduate. Sa wakas, nandito na tayo sa pinaka-exciting na part which is ang scholarship privileges. What are the scholarship privileges that I enjoyed? My tuition fee was covered by the OST. In my case, 31,000 pesos po yung total na tuition fee pero since lateral applicant ako, 23,000 pesos lang yung na-cover na bayaran ng DOST. Yung first year, first sem, at saka sa first year, second sem, ako pa po yung nagbayar. Meron din po tayong ma-receive na 25,000 pesos na monthly stipend, 20,000 ng book allowance per academic year, transportation allowance, insurance coverage na premium, outright thesis grant na 60,000 pesos, research grant na 89,000 pesos, at dissemination grant na 75,000 pesos. Ang pinaka nagustuhan ko sa DOST, AST, HRDP ay ang bilis po nilang magbigay ng stipend at saka po mag-release ng thesis grant. Thanks to Ma'am Janice, our science research specialist na nag-handle po sa amin for being so proactive po. Thank you po, Ma'am. Nagbigay lang ako ng aking mga requirements for thesis grant. Uh, for example, on this day, tapos na-process na po siya at saka na-download on the next week po. So, mabilis lang po talaga yung pagpa-process ng thesis grant. Lastly, ay ang compensation. One is to one din naman ang compensation na ito. So, bali, nadagdagan yung return service ko ng one and one half year. So, that's it. The DOST AST HRDP Scholarship. Hope ma-inspire din po kayo na kumuha ng graduate studies, lalo na po at pinag-uusapan na na pwede nang po mag-face-to-face classes. See you on my next video! Sending virtual hugs from your Ate Cher. Bye!